Hi, my name is Kara, and today we are going to be taking a look at a corn snake. So I'm going to pull him out. Corn snakes, also known as red rat snakes, are native to Georgia. You can find them kind of all over the southeast. They belong to a family of snakes, of course called rat snakes. And they come in black rat snakes, yellow rat snakes, gray rat snakes. But of course, our corn snakes and red rat snakes are beautiful red color. This here is Billy Mays. Now they're called corn snakes, not because they like to eat corn, but because they actually like to hang out in corn fields. Of course, there they'll find their favorite food, mice. So all snakes are carnivores, so any snake you encounter is going to eat meat of some kind. Billy here uh, hangs out in corn fields to find those mice. Another thing you'll notice why people think they're named corn snakes, their ventral scales, these scales on their belly here, kind of look like an ear of corn. So a couple reasons. Speaking of their coloring, which is pretty unique, some scientists think these guys actually might be mimicking copperheads, which are also native to Georgia, the same area as these guys are. Of course, Billy here is a non-venomous snake, but a copperhead is venomous. So any predator or large animal that's had a run-in with a copperhead might think twice about messing with our friend Billy here. He is, you'll see, sticking his tongue out, which of course is how snakes smell. So their senses are a little different than ours. Snakes smell by sticking out that tongue, grabbing odor molecules from the air, and then putting it to the roof of their mouth where they have an organ called the Jacobson's organ. Very useful. Another way snake senses differ from our own is that they don't quite have ears like we have ears. So they have internal ears, and the way they hear is by detecting vibrations in the ground. When a snake is slithering along, different parts of their jaws will move as the ground vibrates, and they'll be able to tell exactly where something is. Those vibrations are carried into the inner ear, where they can then hear what's going on. A snake's jaw is pretty fascinating. So unlike our jaw, which is hard and rigid, snake's jaws, top, bottom, left and right, all move separately from each other, independently. This means a snake can open their jaws extremely wide. In fact, some species of snake can open their mouth wide enough to eat prey three times their head, or the size of their head, which is very, very useful for a predator like this guy. These guys will eat mice, things on the ground, frogs, small reptiles, but they're also pretty good climbers. You'll find them going up in trees to maybe snag a small bird or a bird egg. They're pretty good at climbing, not quite as good as their cousin, the yellow rat snake, but you'll still find them up and about. The snakes, of course, are very famous for eating their food whole. We talked about that three times the size of their head. They have special teeth. They're recurved, so they point backwards into their head. That helps hold prey in when they grab it. And of course, since Billy here is a non-venomous constrictor, what he's going to do is he's going to strike, grab his prey, and then wrap around it really tight until it's pretty much incapacitated and then he can start eating it without a problem. Snakes have specialized, kind of like a little tube at the bottom of their mouth, that's going to help them breathe while they're eating, making sure that they have plenty of time to eat and still explore. A lot of people think since snakes are so flexible that they don't have bones, but they actually do. They are vertebrates like all reptiles, and you can see Billy here is pretty much all spine, all backbone part of the way he moves as gracefully as he does. And of course, like all reptiles, they are ectothermic. So he's wrapped up right now, not because he thinks I'm a tasty piece of food, but because I'm nice and warm. And he can't regulate his own temperature, so he's happy to be on a human who's nice and warm. All right, thank you guys so much. Have a great day.